good afternoon from the Swiss Alps. I'm in the Valais region of Switzerland, just over the border from France, and this is the Ritzy Ski Resort of Verbier in the distance. And today I'm on the climb to the village of Champay Lac, which is a stunning climb in the Valais region. Let's see how we get on. So this road here is the super busy Grand St Bernard Pass road which takes you over to Italy eventually and uh, where we're going today is the climb up to Champagne du Lac which I'll tell you more about it when we get off this busy road but as you're coming up from Martigny you've just got one thing to look out for to turn right. So I'm away from the busy main road now, kilometer into the climb. So Champay Lac is a stunning village at the top of the climb and as the name suggests it's on a lake. The climb's 10.6 kilometres long, it's quite tough, average is 8.2% and it's a regular feature in the Tour de Romandie in April every year. Today I'm on the north side of the climb which is a great addition if you're doing a clockwise Tour de Mont Blanc as it does take you off that super busy section of the Grand Saint Bernard Pass and you can rejoin the Grand Saint Bernard over the other side of the climb. I would say the key features of the climb are that one, there's no consistency of the gradient and two, just look at the steepness of these switchbacks. I mean, the inside line is like 17, 18, 19% and with there being no consistency of gradient, it's very difficult to get into a rhythm. Chapeau for Swiss tarmac. Look at that, billiard table. Halfway up the climb, the gradient does ease slightly, but we've still got these super steep hairpin bends. These ramps start to get longer as well, the higher up the climb you get, so not as many switchbacks. So if you are on the Tour de Mont Blanc, this is the Col de Fourcla, which you would have come down over from um, Chamonix, Trion, down to Martigny. There's only two or three k's to go now and that V ahead marks the summit of the climb. So the gradient really eases off towards the top and what four sprockets down the cassette. Beautiful little climb, usually quiet, been a bit busier today with it being Saturday and whilst the finish is rather uninspiring as we transit through the ski lift car park, the jewel in the crown of Champagne du Lac is just around the corner. So this is the reward at the summit of Champagne Lac. It's a beautiful climb just over the border into Switzerland in the Valais region of Switzerland so if you get a chance I'd certainly stick it on your uh, to-do list. So thanks for watching cycling in the Swiss Alps today and any questions drop them in the comments below we'll see you next time on cycling in the French Alps or maybe even the Italian Alps. Thanks for watching see you next time.